Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike. I'm Tanya. With Fowler Family Farm. We haven't showed y'all that yet, have we? That car behind us. Mine. That's Tanya's car. And yes, it is a Tesla. We purchased that vehicle seven months ago and just have not put it on the channel. We were unsure if we really wanted to share it or put it on the channel. We didn't want people to get the wrong idea. Um, but we've enjoyed it. Um, I love it. Uh, we bought this car strictly because when we test drove it, we it thoroughly fun. enjoyed it. Yeah, we did. It was fun. We enjoyed every bit of it. Um, I drive a ton of miles for work. Yeah. Um, and it is so nice. Tanya never has to put gas in that car. She never has to stop at a gas station, which I like. I like the fact that she can go to work and come home. She doesn't have to stop at a gas station. Uh, we put the charger in our garage, so we charge at home. Um, now, on a trip like this that you're about to see, um, we're already here at the lake, Lake Murray. You're gonna watch us come here. The video that I'm, we're putting together is us coming here and doing a camping video. In the Tesla. You can actually camp in the Tesla, yes. You're going to see that today in this video. Um, but it's we, our first experience, so we'll it, see how it, it goes. Is, it is our first experience, and uh, I can tell you it's different for both of us. We have different opinions about it, so. All right? Yeah. So anyway, uh, let's get to the video. And we are going to bring you guys along on our first Tesla camping trip. Um, we live in southern Oklahoma. We don't want to do our first camping trip too far away from home. So we're going to go about, I don't know, it's probably 50 miles away from our house. And we're going to go to a lake. It's, it's called Lake Murray. And we're going to spend the night there. We've, we've got the backs loaded down with stuff. We've got a mattress back there. We've got a Yeti back there. Um, we've got our swimming trunks. So we're going to do some swimming we got at the my floaty. lake. Yep, we got Tanya's floaty sunscreen yep so hopefully you guys will come along with us um we are right actually i'm going to get out and show you guys but we're actually at a supercharger right now in a, a town called ardmore and this town so we're almost we're almost at the lake already um but this town's probably about 15 minutes away from the lake um <clears throat> we gotta go eat something called taco casa <laughs> I am a, the 15th time this week. I am a huge Taco Casa fan. I don't know why. I just found this place like, it's I don't know, good. probably two months ago and I eat it at least. <laughs> I just found this place at least. Sorry. <laughs> I just found this place, you know, I just found Taco Casa like two months ago and I love it. It's really good. Yeah. It's better than Taco Bell, Taco Bueno, any of those other ones. So uh, anyway, we are going to eat that before we head over to the lake. Um, that'll be our dinner. Um, but I am going to get out and show you this little supercharger here in Ardmore. Ardmore is not a small town. Well, for, for a lot of you guys, it's a small town. But for the state of Oklahoma, it's a fairly good sized town. It's got about, I don't know, 25, 30,000 people in it probably. And the supercharger is right off I-35. So it's real convenient to hit, you know, to, to get off and charge right here. We charge here quite a bit when we're going to Dallas. We'll stop and charge here and then we'll charge in either Denton or Dallas or something like that. So, all right, let me get out and uh, show you guys around real quick. So if you ever see us at the Ardmore Supercharger, say hi. Okay, so when we got to the Supercharger, uh, we were at roughly about 38%, 39%, I think. And we're already, already up to 62. We're gonna charge to 83%. Okay, so this is the Ardmore Supercharger. Uh, if you look on the app, it's going to show 150 kilowatt charger here, but right now it's only charging at like 79 kilowatts. Um, that's funny, Inner Urban now serving breakfast. And that is Inner Urban right there, it's a little restaurant. So it looks like it's got six chargers here. That is I-35 right there. Take you straight to Dallas. Okay, so we have made it to Taco Casa. Uh, we charged to 83%, um, drove over here. I forgot to show y'all 
before we left what what the cost was and all that so let me turn the camera around and show you guys so it cost us twelve dollars and ninety five cents well it was 83 this is about a mile away from the superchargers so I also wanted to show you all this I don't know if y'all saw it earlier 92 degrees outside right now so today is May 19th and the high today was 95 and I think we actually got there and it's 635 ish so it's now it says 93 so we're fluctuating between 92 and 93 right now so it's a hot one So this is the RV spot we're talking about, and it's fairly close to the lake. You can actually walk over to it, but Tanya wants to try to set up on a, on a tent area where we'll be right on the water. So that's what we're gonna do this time around since we have 77%. Even if we keep the AC on all night, we'll probably only drop a percent an hour, maybe a 1.5. Oh, look, there's showers Yeah. right by the RV. Okay, go ahead, sorry. And then there's also another thing of showers right over here as well. But go ahead and turn around, we'll show them this area. So there's the water, and there's the watchtower straight ahead. Go off right? Yeah. No day use in camping area. What's that mean? Let's make a reservation. Tent. might be already be full. There's we can one. go here, which is a good one. Actually. I like right there. How about here? Let's do this one. Watchtowers over there. Okay, I think this is the spot Tanya chose. You can see it's right on the water. And this is a, a really good swimming area. This is where we swim a lot. Um, you still have to wear shoes, somewhat of shoes. It's not like Sandy Beach, but it is a good area for kids and stuff to swim in. So that's the one we're going to try to get, BR-41, which is buzzard, Buzzard's Roost. And you have to go to rv.okparks.com to reserve your spot. There's the watchtower Tanya was mentioning earlier.
closest word I can think of. Mm, generosity. Giving more than you take it. Like a firefly when the sun goes down. It took all her energy to smile. Okay, so we got the bed put in. I think I probably would have sped that up for you guys to kind of watch on that. It's kind of, didn't take very long. But no. What do you think? How long do you think it took? Five minutes, and that was our second time to do it. Yeah. And yeah, we did it once in the driveway, too, so. Um, can't see real well. Well, there we go. Now it's coming in a little better. We do have the fitted sheet on it. Uh, and just a regular sheet. One thing I did realize we forgot. It's eight inches thick. No, six. six okay. It feels pretty. Yes, the six inch memory foam. But I forgot pillows. Oh, we did Didn't forget we? pillows. Yeah, we got towels. Yeah, we'll just use towels. So, and we have laid, laid on this already, like in the driveway, and it's comfortable. There ain't nothing wrong with oh, it. Oh, it's very comfortable. So we thought we'd bring you guys down to show you these new showers and toilets. That where we're staying is about, I don't know, a quarter mile. It's right on the water. And they have toilets and showers there too. And they're they're still pretty nice, aren't they're they? They're clean, yeah. Yeah, they're clean and nice. But these weren't here last year, I don't think. Right? Because we were here last year and I don't remember these. They I look brand new. I mean the concrete looks brand new. Yeah. I Everything looks new. Here. But we thought we'd come over here and show you real quick, just show you the inside. Just just so if you ever come to this area, you'll kind of know what you're looking at. So it's two showers and a toilet in each building. I was, none of these are occupied right now. Nobody's in them. So pretty simple, nothing special, but nice and clean. And the toilet, same, pretty simple. And it's got AC, it's got real mirrors. <laughs> And I say they have AC because each building has its own little mini split. They're very quiet, unlike mine. Okay, as y'all saw, that was uh, our first experience camping in the Tesla. Uh, we, we didn't show y'all a whole lot of us in the Tesla actually sleeping or anything like that. We showed a short clip of the of the mattress itself. But what do you think of the mattress? Well, the mattress is fine. Okay. It's just in the tesla it sits at an angle yeah and my back does not like that yeah so the mattress sits like this not you know it's it's actually at an angle our heads are up but you will slide but down you, yeah yeah you will slide down it's not level and then propped up at the head it's yeah. slanted completely the whole thing. so it is hard to sleep on i slept okay i probably got a total of four to five hours of sleep probably donnie didn't get much at all she didn't like it. We're gonna to have to make some modifications. I'm gonna build some platforms to go under the bottom part of the, the, the leg part of the bed to make it level. 
And then doing those platforms, I'll also be able to turn that into some drawers. That, that way we can have some storage. And that's all going to be removable. I'm going to be able to take that out and only put it in there when we go camping. So, um, totally different video than you guys are used to seeing on, on our channel. Um, we just thought we'd bring you guys along. Uh, see what you thought of it. That's what we do. Yeah. We're eclectic. Yeah, say. we're trying to do different things. Uh, this is something that we think over time we will enjoy this. We love going to the lake. I grew up on the lake, going to the lake all the time. Tanya did too. Uh, I miss it. Yeah, we do miss the lake. We had a, a lake lot at Ten Killer in Tahlequah, Oklahoma, and for twenty uh, years. Yeah, twenty eight years, and we finally sold it probably four years ago. And we miss it, so we're going to get back to it. But we're going to be camping instead of buying a lot. We're just going to camp. That way we can go to whatever lake we want. And our friends have a boat and they come out here and yep. they go to Arbuckle so we can just hop in the car and go. We, they don't have to worry about where they're going to sleep us. It's real windy so the camera's shaking. Hopefully it doesn't knock the camera over. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear what we're saying. Yeah. So anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button for us. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. All right, we'll see you guys on the next video. Remember, do the good. At the Feller family farm. Come on.